up YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing channel. Today is September 21st, 2017. My outing number 121 of this year. And today on the channel, we're going to do a mystery tackle box unboxing plus slam, right? <laughs> I was actually quite astonished. Uh, if you guys follow the channel, just a few days ago, I did a little live stream on the channel and I asked you guys, you know, which boxes you wanted me to portray this month, right? And for my surprise, a lot of people said catfish, you know? which, I mean, I'm very glad about, but catfish is not usually the first species of choice, you know? It is usually the largemouth bass, right? The Microptero salmoides, or the pan fishing. So I am actually quite happy, you know, that you guys chose catfish, okay? That's the first thing that I wanted to say in this video. But um, anyways, right? So yeah, this is what we're going to do today. We're gonna do the unboxing of the Mystery Tackle Box, catfish box for this month and before i do that i would like to point out i tend to do my mystery tackle box unboxings plus slams usually on rivers you know and i kind of thought about it and i was like man that is kind of kind of unfair to some people out there right because some people get the mystery tackle box catfish box every month and they go to their local lakes ponds reservoirs a different type of environment right to catch different types of catfish so every time i did a unboxing plus slam i was like all right let's catch some channel catfish the ictalurus punctatus but then i thought man I gotta show some more love to the bowheads too, you know? So today I'm here at the Pine Run Reservoir in New Britain, Pennsylvania, and this is precisely what we're going to do. We're going to do the unboxing and we're going to attempt to catch some bowhead catfish from this reservoir using whatever comes inside this box. So let's get the unboxing started. Okay, so as you guys know, my unboxings are always ad-lib, meaning that I have never opened this box before. All right, we're gonna open it right now and see what is inside. Should be very exciting, been a while since I did one of these, you know, so I'm definitely looking forward to whatever is inside this catfish box, okay? Let's open it up. There you go, you guys get the first view of the catfish box. As always, right? No idea what it is in it. Whoa, easy! I almost fell off the box, man. Didn't even get started yet. So I got the what's inside card over here. And let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, five items in this month's box, okay? The first one is the Grand Islam braid by high seas on the value of $16.99 holy cow man we got some line here that cost 17 dollars man so there you go dude holy cow man wait wait is this is this for real man it says 65 pounds <laughs> dude the one time that i choose to catch some measly bowl heads here at the reservoir they sent me 65 pounds braided line, dude. Super thin diameter, great casting line, holds knots well, no memory, grand slam braid, high seas, all right? I mean, look, I trust the product, okay? I, I've used their leader before that came in one of the boxes, but 65 pounds braided line, I mean, all right, man. Hey, first thing that it came inside the box, all right? Next thing is the Sinker Slides by Team Catfish on the value of $3.49. Where are my Team Catfish uh, Sink Sliders here, huh? What, what are these things, man? What, what is this? Oh, oh, I see. I see what's going on here. So there you go. It comes five per pack, right? It's one of those... Uh, I mean, you know, it's kind of to do a sleep sinker setup, but instead of putting the sinker like on right away, you make it kind of slide with this tool over here. So, I mean, that is not that bad, you know, I can actually teach you guys today how to do one of those, you know. I'm just a little bit concerned because this package here came with a lot of uh, black ink here on the side, you know, for whatever re whatever reason but okay man. all right next thing that came inside the box is the dip tube by mudville cat master on the value of 199 so let me see where is it oh there you go oh i've gotten this before two sponge tubes right 
deep tube. Now, this is the thing, right? This is the thing that I would never understand. So again, Mr. Tackle Box sent me one of these, which I find it amazing, you know? But there's no dip in the, in the box, man, you know? I mean, I would have to go out of my way and buy my own. And today I didn't bring any dip bait. So, I mean, how am I going to use this today for this lamb? You know what I'm saying? Hi. Okay, next thing that came inside the box is the Glow Sinker Bumpers by Team Catfish on the value of $3.50. So, uh, all right, glow, glow beads, all right? I'm going to show you guys how to tie these things on and how to use it, all right? But, I mean, it says here right at the back, right? Bait stop to prevent double hooking. Adds color to lures and life bait. Super knot protector and sinker bumper, which is how we are going to use it today, by the way. And bumper between bait rigs and rod tip, okay? I actually have some of these here, uh, hard ones, not soft ones at home. And I prefer to use it the pink color. But hey, man, we got to go with green today, you know? And finally, the last thing that came inside the box is the pyramid sinker by Knothead Tackle on the value of $219. I mean, this we would definitely use today, okay? At least, at least we know that this sinker's right here, boy. We're gonna row in the reservoir with it. You know what I'm saying? So, I, okay, the selection for this month was pretty much all terminal tackle, which, I mean, you use it in terms of catfish fishing, right? But sadly, I am in a little bit of a dilemma now because I didn't bring any bait with me. Oh, man. Last month's box actually came with some bait inside the box, you know, so I thought, hey man, Mr. Tackle Box is finally getting the handle of it. Maybe this month's box will come with some tackle, uh, with some bait in it too. So I didn't bring any bait, man. We'll have to catch some bait first. Uh, all right, we'll see how we're going to improvise. That's what we're good at, right? So let's improvise and let's get the fishing started. Boy, this is gonna be interesting. So the first thing that we're gonna do today, we gotta spool my Cast King Centron 4000, which is my trusted, you know, uh, catfish reel with the high seas Grand Slam braid, 65 pounds braided line. All right, dude. I mean, it does look real good, you know. But uh, well, all right, let's do it. All right, this is how I like to spool my line. I just like to pass the line through the guides and then come here to the reel open the bail right and we gotta do my little traditional knot for a spooling line just a double over the hand knot right there we go boom one more actually this line is sticking off I think one time will be fine just tie it on and then this is the knot that I like to use when spooling line. Just two over the hand knots. I call them the shoelace, shoelace knots. By the way, you don't need to do it the way, the, the way I'm doing, right? This is just the way I like to do it. Pull the slack line all the way until the knot, you know, hits the line. There we go. Ah! Okay, there we go. The knot is almost there. You guys see it? Boom! All right, the over the hand knot is right on top of the other area. Then you just cut it. Cut the extra line, 65 pound braid, man, holy moly. <laughs> Cut the extra line and then that's it, you're good to go. Look at that, we're gonna spool this baby up, just hold the line. I like to hold the line with the hand for a little bit of extra, extra, you know, uh, tension. I like to give it a few twirls with my own hand at the beginning too, cause you know, it's, it is, we are talking about braided line, right? There we go, aha, beautiful one, look at that, boom. Hold it, get the tension steady, and then you just spool. All right, a little bit more, a little bit more. When I spool the line here, man, I'm like fisherman's life, you know? Just a little bit of butter. That's right, we're just gonna put a little bit of line on the reel. Yeah, look at that, I think this is good enough. All right, we're ready to go. Let me do the rig now. <laughs> this is definitely gonna be a very interesting slam. So check this out, this is the setup that we're using for today. First, let me check this line, man, because I just put this line up. One ounce sinker, okay? Oh, not bad, not bad. All right. Good castability. We're using the 65 pounds high seas braided line. I just spooled here on my Cast King Centron 4000. And this is the rig that we are using for today. Check this out. Huh? So everything that came inside the box, right? The sinker is lighter right here with the one ounce the tackle and the little, you know, knot protection bumper, right? Because as you guys can see, it protects, uh, protects. Then I have a snap swivel 
and then I got my own how oh, easy I got my own hook here you know little gamakatsu circle hook what size one because I really don't want this bow heads to inhale the hook right now the only thing that we need now is bait man I don't have bait but thankfully I don't know how well you guys can see there's a school of bait fish right in front of us and this is the props of being a multi-species and micro angler we will try to catch some of those to put it on the hook let's do it come on it's gotta be a sunfish or something oh oh yeah oh yeah get it get it boy fish on my bait my bait's coming i couldn't catch the small fish that were in front of us on the micro hooks man without without night crawlers so i had to switch to the gold minnow but check this out huh we got the bluegill first species of the day this is gonna be our bait wait 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 what what did you say bluegill oh he i think he's saying he's ready for the one rod special wow you got guts fish you got guts all right let's do the one rod special don't worry you will be worthy of this mr tackle box okay all right he's good to go yeah i think he's dead oh yeah i see his remains over here oh yeah oh he is dead all right dude oh hell yeah all right cut bait ready oh, i feel so good when you have bait you know what i'm saying when everything goes according to the plan so there you go one little piece of cut bait and this is this is how we're gonna row for today just cast it out there and uh hopefully there are some bow heads around we have come a long way since the beginning of this unboxing huh but finally finally we're ready for some catfish oh, for real though is this a bite or is this this is just the waves man 65 pound braided lines driving me pretty nuts pretty nuts I but again if it is just a small bow head I can definitely see how you know it would move like this it's just odd man oh oh son either i'm snagged or there's a fish on here am i snagged i think i'm snagged i don't know man this is some odd stuff going on here i kept seeing this thing moving and moving and moving i think there's a fish on here it feels like it but it feels like i'm snagged on something also maybe it's a good fish i don't know oh dude dude i think it's a good fish holy moly i kept seeing the rod move you know what the heck is that maybe a turtle holy cow what is, dude whatever's coming up here what is that oh my freaking god that's why it's a freaking turtle dude what the heck is this this is not what i signed up for when i got mystery tackle but what, what kind of turtle is this dude it's a soft shell it's a soft shell turtle what oh hell no man hell no this thing looks like it will bite me man i rarely catch these so i don't really know but oh we got hooked on the jaw oh, oh man that's why i thought it was weird man i thought it was real weird it wasn't quite like a fish well let me unhook this fella here wow i mean taking a closer look this fella is be pretty beautiful but uh does it bite uh i never handled one of these so oh oh it's a soft shell it's oh dude the shell is pretty soft holy moly that's why it's called soft shell uh i mean makes sense right yeah makes sense it's a soft shell it's a soft shell jesus this is very soft that's why asians like to eat this stuff holy cow dude you are ugh. i mean a very interesting looking man oh my god so i guess it doesn't bite really it doesn't seem to have teeth it's a dude look the shell curves i kid you not look the shell curves it's it's pretty soft actually a very interesting nice feeling this is the first time that uh that i caught one of these up close you know back in the days one rod more were fishing oh easy does this thing bite uh actually it doesn't look like it bites hey it's pretty cool huh oh okay 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 let me just unhook you i'm gonna push it back okay oh i know you want to bite the line out of it okay you can't do that can't do that no you can't no 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 don't do that don't do that man 
Why do I feel like Coyote Peterson doing this stuff, huh, buddy? Hey, don't try to bite me. Dude, look. This is some Coyote Peterson stuff right here. Look at that. Jesus, look at this. Look at the jaws on this creature. Let me flip it so you guys can take a closer look at the bottom of this creature. Look at this. And it's a soft, it's so soft back here. Look at this. This is definitely a one of a kind uh, type of turtle. You can see, right, the four markings over here. Pretty cool, pretty cool, not gonna lie, you know, it's got some nice claws over here. Doesn't count for our MTB slam, of course, but I'm gonna put you back, okay? Don't worry about it. Look at this, that's pretty neat, all right. To think that some of these would be living around here and eat cut bait, this dude must have been hungry, man. All right, all right, here, here, buddy, here, buddy. You must be happy, look at that. Oh, dude, liberty, freedom, look at that. Oh, there's a trunk there, dude. <laughs> oh man oh dude oh, damn he went fast after that oh must be terrified of the asian folk i have to say i am astonished i am perplexed i've been out here fishing for about four and a half hours two rods in the water okay as you guys saw at the beginning of this video i was using a circle hook I downgraded those circle hooks to smaller hooks because I thought if I put the smaller hooks, you know, I have more chances of landing catfish, right? And yet, four and a half hours, not a single catfish bite. The whole day I had turtles biting on these, you know, just cleaning the bait. I've been checking every 15 minutes, but man, and I'm using prime bait too. You guys saw it. I'm using cut bluegill you know i mean cut bluegill man is like the wagyu beef for the bowhead down there you know what i'm saying so i guess it is just a super slow day here at the reservoir i don't know i caught a few bluegills over there by the little uh, spillway area you know got a little green sunfish on the gulp minnow here you know just having some fun on the gulp while i waited for the bite because seriously i don't know guys I tried, you know, like I said, four hours, but it is what it is, you know, this is all the time that I have for today, so it is time to pack my stuff and go home. Needless to say, that, that spiny soft shell turtle was the big catch of the day, right? And it was a beautiful creature, so, <laughs> you know, kind of made my day, right? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this mystery tackle box catfish unboxing plus slam hopefully the pro box is going to be a little bit better you know hopefully we're going to redeem ourselves when it comes to this month's pro box okay so all right guys thank you very much for watching i will see you guys next time tight lines and take it easy i got i, I, got, I found something cool Turtle. Hi. I don't know. I don't think so. Where's the head? Be careful. Is it a snappy? Is it a snapper? Dude, it's a sea turtle. Oh my god, it's a sea turtle. Check it out. Holy crap. Dude, what the heck is a sea turtle doing it, here? It came from the sea. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to take a picture of yeah, this. Yeah, picture. Stuff. Picture. Sea turtle. Oh, snap. Dude, wow. I killed this picture and he sent it to me, right? All right, dude, look at this turtle. What the heck is a sea turtle? Oh my god, oh jeez, I think it's trying to bite me. Does this thing bite? I don't know. Take a picture before it bites me. <laughs>